okay welcome to the second part of this tutorial so in the previous part we have done up to that places uh, just make the setup ready our next js setup ready so uh, today our uh, discussion topic is uh, have some custom css in your project uh, top na in include top number number and end is and icons so to do that what do you need to do first of all you have to do um npm install and d i mean if you go to the first of all you need to bootstrap npm i bootstrap bootstrap 5 go to the server and go to the web pages and just copy and just copy and paste and uh, you know, through your terminal just install the app bootstrap and design and and design icons so i i show you bootstrap and design npmi and design icons and design icons just just copy and paste and as i have done already so i am not showing you this is very simple so and after that you can check to your uh, package json file the where the files are uh, residing and is an icons and the and bootstrap and you can see the versions also so now so now it's time to include those files in our uh, main rendering file or the global file you can uh, call the app js the this, this has been given automatically whenever you install the next js in your project so import the boot stuff import boot stuff sorry boot stuff dot dist dot css dot boot stuff boot stuff mean dot css if you are curious, curious from where this i got this exact path just go to the node modules file because whenever you install something it resides over here okay so bootstrap dist css and bootstrap mean dot css bootstrap mean dot css mean dot css okay and import and design and design import and d import import and and d dist dist and d and and d dot css and you can also if you are curious you can also see and design and a and and d dist well just follow along the path and d and dist then and d dist dist then and this is is not and d just follow along the just follow along the path okay so we are done so we have bootstrap so we have bootstrap and we have uh we have and design in our um, in our file folder structure and in our system so we want to how to in uh, right now what we want to do cannot dist okay i have solved this problem i hope it's okay cannot mm, cannot read the and the dist and the dist and the css cannot resolve and the dist and css maybe file path is wrong go to there again pages app dot js and d okay i am okay i am checking it and coming back okay it's nothing it's okay it's nothing it's a bit of typo nothing else uh, and d i have what i have uh, written sorry for that and 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 d i hope it will solve the problem mm, module not found again it's showing bootstrap dist oh again there is a typo dist we have to do it carefully i hope right now it's okay okay 
Okay, it's okay. So we have put a stop. We have N D N D connected in our folder. So what we want to do? What we want to do? We want to create the top nav bar for our project. Okay. So for top nav bar, just create a component. You know what is component? So if you don't know, this is not the basic tutorial of React JS or Next JS. Just uh, go to the YouTube or uh, website and learn the basic stuff of React JS, Next JS. Okay. So I am creating a folder and name it components. Components. Then create another file and its name its name is main menu George yes you can uh, give it any sort of name okay R A F C E okay it's R A F C E okay it's R A F C E give it a try R A F C E react functional component okay give it a name it automatically name will be given and then go to your app js and as this is a global uh, file and it renders first so whenever your uh, project renders it renders first so you can if you give uh, file here it will get access from all those pages okay so we want to um, use our app js file over here um, main menu okay uh, I think we will get auto import main menu yes we got the auto import main menu you see it has been auto imported okay so main menu so main menu uh, as it is the so main menu uh, as it is the component we are including our main menu file in the app js so what we have written in the main menu we will got it yes we got so it main menu so now it's our time to uh, build up the navigation menu so for the navigation menu we will use and design and go to and design icons uh, sorry and design menu and search for the menu almost like the udemy let's see what the udemy menu what are the udemy menus there is a logo uh, there is a logo categories search bar and a bit stuff okay so go to then menu items and uh, look at the similarity which menu is uh, pretty similar with your requirements i think this is pretty similar okay we will uh, do some uh, amendment or uh, rectify after uh, incorporating the main file okay just uh, copy and paste this menu items as we are as we have already included and design in our system so we can right now use that okay this is the main menu okay and what we need to do we need to import this menu and mail outlined this stuff from and design okay and design okay we need sub menu also sub menu also here is the sub menu where is the sub menu okay we are done i think okay we are done i think so let's check whether it is working just fine or not is there any wrong messages no no i hope it will pop up over here within a short time so we cannot report a handle menu this or handle clicks we have some unnecessary files over here we have to delete it as we are not using it so it will as we are not using it so it will create problems I think it's okay right now. Yeah, see, okay, it's doing. Yeah, see, okay, it's doing uh, so properly. I, I so uh, I, I am showing you how to uh, include the end design files from here. Uh, files from here, end design menu items from here. So just. 
so just you scroll down and find the similarity according to your requirement and uh, copy the code and uh, paste it in your folder so our hot hot was our main aim uh, we have three or four agenda in our tutorial today on office uh, including main navbar in our system and another one is that uh, including bootstrap and design top navbar and uh, along with that we want to uh, include a custom design uh, file for our system you see if uh, we are using and design everything is all fine but if any custom css is needed so what we need to do we need to do you see there is a um, folder over here by default and its name is style home module.js so for this file uh, this this home module.css is using for index index.js file so if you want to uh, use your custom css file for your main menu.js what you need to do just copy the name copy the name and create copy the name and create a folder over here and give it a name according to your main file and, and just give it a module this is the convention okay this is the convention okay excuse me module dot excuse me module dot css okay so if you uh, use so if you uh, use it and uh, include the file over here like the uh, like the system just go to here in this file and include this your custom file over here and if you want to give it a custom style like um, give it a class name okay give it a class name give it a class name give it a class name and still why alias still and give it a Mm, give it a class name okay and the file path is wrong it should it name should be main menu module.css okay so uh, in this navigation tool we want to add a custom style over here so what the name we have given yeah this is the convention you have to uh, give this system like that way class name style dot text js so go to uh, copy the text.js and come over here and give it a CSS style. Color say just give it a color red. Okay, I think it will work. You see color red color. Okay, give it a refresh. Mm, it's not working where is the problem any color rate right. for any style you can give so this is the convention uh, according to your file name uh, let's check once again if, if we have given the modu module module.css main module.css no problem i am showing you okay no problem i am showing you how to give this so i have uh, already uh, built the uh, navigation and uh, do some I'm custom just, styling uh, so i'm just uh, including these files over here and i will show you the custom styling so just copy and paste, so just copy and paste from here and this file from here and give it to here, to here. and, and uh, styles. Uh, styles styles main menu styles main menu okay main menu main menu module dot css main menu module dot css and bring the custom style from here okay so this if this files works so you can understand that the custom css file is working so Text decoration none with okay. 700. Okay, yeah. let's go whether it's it is working. working. Yeah, it's, fully it's working, and it's, it's fully functional and, and, and it's working. So, what, you, what I have done over here, CSS you see, go to the main.css and for custom styling, uh, you have to give a file name 
in your uh, in your style CSS you see main menu dot module dot CSS and the according to the their convention just give it a class name style dot main style dot w d t and go over here and give the styling this is the convention so it's not a big deal so what uh, we have done and uh, we have uh, we have we have we have included some uh, search bar some icons shopping cart uh, some icons and oh another big thing is that uh, if you want to include the logo over here you see the image i am using the image tag so from where i am getting the image tag just go over here and search for the image um, image image and you and um, go to the code and just use the image and uh, toggle in between the width height and file first so but main uh, learning point over here is you see i have used the source the source is different you see they gave the source of http uh, the online uh, online source but i am uh, including the image uh, for my local folder so in the source give it a just image udemy.com in this public folder so this is the big advantage of next.js so if you uh, create a just folder in emails and uh, keep your uh, image over here you can call the image folder like simply like that way uh, image dot money it does it means that you don't want you don't need to uh, write down all the file path like that way okay like just that way the, just uh, give the folder and, uh, uh, folder and uh, the uh, image path that's and that's it next this is the big advantage of so, next.js uh, so, uh, uh, so we have sorry created a, uh, we have created a um, uh, nice nav uh, navigation bar nice uh, navigation bar uh, almost like the udemy but i think it is not fully responsive but don't worry uh, at the end of this tutorial we'll uh, make it a big, uh, a pretty cool and lucrative, and make it responsive. So for now, so I am just um, incorporating the navigation bar, including and design icons and design and design and bootstrap, and finally, uh, including uh, the image tag. Uh, connecting my image here and custom styling so this is all about uh, today so if you like the tutorial please like share and subscribe and next st stay connected and we please wait for the next video tutorial i hope it will come soon and see you soon thank you